We are a former president of the US television network, CBS, and uh, basically give us your thoughts on where you see broadcast television at the moment and where you feel it might, what it might look like in, say, five years' time. Well, that's a tough question. Uh, the, the broadcast networks still have enough resources. It's not really the broadcast networks that have the problem, it's the stations. And how, you, how, you, how stations survive in a deteriorating advertising market is really a, a really an issue for them. But, but the broadcasters still, still have an enormous amount of programming clout. I mean, when I was there, I, I used to answer questions all the time from every journalist I've ever met. Do you think the networks are dinosaurs? To which my only response always was, dinosaurs lasted for millions of years. It's been a dinosaur ever since the 1980s by some people's count, but it still has, it ha still has a disproportionate clout on the audience. It's just ever dwindling. And I suppose that you, you are, your question is, will it still be there in five years? And the answer is yes. What shape, I guess, is more the issue? We are, with, with online distribution, and, and, and the Sony is uh, starting to play quite seriously in that area, as well as in the content production side, content creation side of things. It's that distribution issue, I guess, which is um, uh, raising some interesting challenges for the broadcasters. Yeah, well, actually, very interesting. When I first joined Sony, um, a very well-known executive said to me, what you need at Sony is, you can't succeed in content until you have a pathway to the sea, by which he meant traditional distribution, a network, whatever, a satellite, whatever. And I said, no, I didn't want to do that because I'd worked at CBS for a long time and I could see part of the future coming. And I said, I don't want to go back that direction. I don't want to buy a network. I don't want Sony to buy a network, because a, ne a, the, a television network, because it is constantly nibbled away. The interesting thing is the pathway to the sea is, is the internet or the IP. And, and I, I think it's clear that those people who talk about IPTV sort of confuse it with the internet, confuse it as that your television is kind of a, a web browser and you can go find the internet on television. That's not what the audience wants. The audience wants access to content and it wants it the easiest and simplest and cheapest way that it can. So the networks are still de delivering it cheaply, but they have advertising issues. The cable companies have issues with dislike of the customers and disgust at the price of set-up boxes and, and that sort of thing. So dr bringing content onto the, onto the television through IP means one way or another, wirelessly, whatever way you want to do it, um, is going to be a challenge because it's another form of distribution. And, the, and you can distribute it globally, which is why it, it, it is more exciting and interesting than I think people have yet figured out. I mean, it's going to take a long time to be able to distribute content worldwide over the IP networks. Mm -hmm.